Hi there, my name's Ashley Washington. I own Flowers by Siobhan Florist in Manchester along with my wife, Siobhan. Um, we started this channel really because we wanted to tell you guys how to make flowers and arrangements like a professional florist. It's something we feel really passionate about and we think it's something that everyone can do. Not everyone finds it easy. Some people find it more difficult than others, but everyone can definitely, definitely do it. Um, so today it's my turn, we take it in turns, she won one week, myself another week and today I'm going to show you how to make, put my brew down, a five point star. It's a little bit different this star because normally they're just based in double croissants but with this one I'm going to do a gypsophilia edge, I'm going to do a double croissant topper and I'm going to do a, a spray in the middle with yellow roses. It's going to look great, let's get on with it! So for this one today, we're going to be using our uh, gypsophilia or gypsophila, however you want to say it. We've got some double croissants. We've got some yellow Kenyan roses. Uh, Kenyan roses tend to have a smaller head on them uh, and they work a little bit nicer on a smaller arrangement like this because when it's a big head, it takes up too much space. And we have some salal foliage. So let's get on with it. Right, so we're going to start with the edge of the five point star. We're going to use our gypsophilia and we're going to start by just snipping. We want this quite short because I don't want it to stick out too much on it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start by adding around the edge. Just slowly adding, like I always say, there's no rush. So I'm just cutting it maybe an inch long and we're just going round the edge. I mean this is for a funeral but I have been known to use a five point star for a Christmas decoration. So when I get to doing the uh, spray on top, I'll show you how to transfer it from a funeral spray into a Christmas arrangement. So you're getting two for one today. So we're just taking our time and we're just working around the edge. So I've finished my gypsophilia edge on the five point star and I've just started to add my double croissants in on the top. So I'm just cutting them about an inch and a half, two inches long and I'm just slowly adding them in. Now the best advice I can give you when working with double croissants is if you know a couple of days in advance that you need them, buy them and get them conditioning in water because nine times out of ten when you buy double croissants they come all closed and it takes a lot more croissants to, to build up an area. So when you get the conditioning water, they open up nicely, you add them in. So that's all finished, the base is done, I've left a little hole in the middle to do our spray of flowers. But like I told you at the beginning, you're going to get two for one today. I'm going to show you how to turn this already festive looking arrangement into an actual Christmas arrangement. It's simple to do, it's just about your spray of flowers in the centre. So what I've got, I've dug it out of the cupboard. A lot of people might have this stuff lying around. It's not expensive, it's just some cheap silk flowers. I suggest using silk flowers for Christmas arrangements because you want it to last a little bit longer than a fresh flower arrangement would last. I've also got a candle. This is the ABC123 Idiot's Guide of turning any floral arrangement into a festive arrangement, a candle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to poke the candle into the oasis. You don't have to use anything else on it as the oasis is compacting around the candle and it's holding it in place. So I'm just going to take a few of this cheaper foliage that I've got and I'm just going to add it in. I won't do the complete arrangement because I do actually need to do a proper arrangement in this. And as you can see, I'm just adding it round. 
two acorns, a few white poinsettia. You can actually ha add a little bit of height to it at the back. But as you can see, simple, easy, and it's looking festive. Right then, let's whip that out. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use my Salal and my yellow Kenyan roses, which like I said are a smaller head rose, to make a centre arrangement. So I'm just adding the Salal in, just to give it some shape. I just like to put a little bit around the edge, just to give it a bit of size. Just a blob in the middle, and now I'm going to add my Kenyan roses to it. The first one's always a little bit longer because that's going to be your center focal flower. I'm just going to work my way now around the edges, adding one, two. three and as I've added them I can now see where I need to add some more foliage so I'm going to add a bit more there at the back I'm going to add a bit more here and just a little snip there so now I'm going to continue adding my Kenyan roses you want a little bit of clearance from the star I might as well use a lot of them. There is no rules when it comes to numbers. People tell you add odd numbers, threes, fives, and four, three, threes, fives, and fours, threes, fives, sevens, but it's completely up to you. The beauty of using Oasis is, like I always say, you can have a jig around. If you're not happy with it, just be careful. You can have a move around. I like to leave some room for the butterflies, as Siobhan's always taught me. And just another snip of greenery. Get that in there. I just pulled the rose out. And that's all in place. And there we go. Finished. Our five point star with a Gypsophilia edge, Kenyan yellow rose centre, and a double croissant top. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see any more of our videos and hit that notification button, and it'll give you all the notifications of all, all our videos. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye bye.